air pollution is an important issue, and although Havering has better air quality than many other boroughs, find out how we can all make a difference and improve our health. What is poor air quality, and what causes it? Pollution from vehicles is the biggest cause of poor air quality. Even though we can't see it, road traffic causes 70% of air pollution. How air quality affects health and well-being. A child born today should expect to live a long, healthy life. However, every year almost 9,500 people in London die prematurely because of poor air quality. Particulate matter is made of particles suspended in the air that are small enough to get into our lung air sacs. Nitrogen dioxide is a harmful gas emitted by road vehicles. It can damage lungs and make it hard to breathe. On hot, calm days, high levels of pollutants can cause smog. Babies, children and older people are particularly vulnerable to the effects of air pollution. It's especially harmful to people who are living with heart or lung conditions, such as asthma and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. If you notice you are feeling out of breath, coughing or feeling wheezy when outside, talk to your doctor or use your inhaler as prescribed. Turning off your engines when queuing or waiting is an easy way to make a difference and reduce harmful gases. What can I do to help myself and others? AirText is a unique information service that alerts people when air pollution levels are predicted to be moderate or high with an SMS message, voicemail or email. Download the app at www.airtext.info forward slash sign up. Smarter Travel The benefits of exercise are great if you have a lung condition. Make sure you exercise in areas away from roads, in parks with lots of trees, or indoors in a well-ventilated room. Havering Council is encouraging residents and visitors to the borough to use active means of travel, such as walking or cycling where possible. There are lots of great, accessible, walking and cycle routes in Havering. It's important to take advantage of the great outdoors and enjoy Havering's many parks and open spaces. And children should be encouraged to play safely outside. Walking or cycling to school or work is not only great exercise, but reduces air pollution too, because there will be fewer cars on the road. Only one in five school journeys are now by car, due to work done by the schools in Havering. Planting vegetation and trees can help reduce pollution. Havering has won many London in Bloom awards in recent years, including Romford Main Road Roundabout, where old grass and vegetation was replaced with plant species that provide cleaner air and an oasis for wildlife. Trees remove pollutants from the air such as ozone, carbon dioxide, nitrogen dioxide and particulate matter. Greening improves air quality and public spaces in which to walk or cycle. Thinning trees allows pollutants to filter through rather than be trapped in canopies.
Thank you.